Now, Homer Bay Senator Moses Kajwang has been elected to chair the Senate County Public Accounts Committee. Meru Senator Mithika Linturi has been elected as his deputy, and the two have just finished briefing the press a few minutes ago from Parliament buildings. Two significant challenges that we will have to deal with. One I've mentioned is the issue of backlog. We are almost one year behind when it comes to consideration of audit reports. But the other uh, serious challenge uh, arises out of the Oparanya uh, case, where a ruling was delivered in 2016. A lot of commentators have analyzed it inappropriately. We believe that the Senate, and particularly this committee, still reserves the power to invite governors. We still, invite the we still reserve the power to summon governors who refuse to appear. We also still reserve the power to audit county reports. That power has not been given to county assemblies uh, only. And the power to summon has not been taken away from us. And the power to call or invite governors has also not been taken away from us. So these are some legal challenges that we'll be maneuvering through. But ultimately, let's make sure that Kenyans get value out of devolution. We will do what it takes to ensure that the public resources allocated to the county governments are really utilized or uh, we will be in a position to do serious oversight, serious follow-up to ensure that that money is utilized for the greater good of the public. You realize that uh, the functions of the county governments as clearly spelled out under Article 4, uh, under Schedule 4 of the Constitution, and especially those functions that have to do with water, health, agriculture. These are the functions that really will make some difference in the lives of our people. And if the money that is going to the counties is not properly utilized for the achievement of those particular objectives, then devolution may end up with uh, a losing or uh, losing is uh, its a purpose or meaning. And remembering that devolution is really a core feature in our constitutional architecture. So as